Hello everyone, welcome to this uh, little show, slideshow about the IWP Civil War. This Civil War happened between the 23rd of August and the 6th of September. Here are some notable areas all in here. So, here's the declaration of the Civil War. Nico declared the Civil War against everyone else in the IWP because he wanted more democracy from which what from what was a dictatorship, which is what I had. I was a dictator. And of course, it was met with some uh, resistance. This war is interesting for two reasons. It was the first civil war in which both both opponents were fully decked out. And it was the first civil war with wide use of end crystals. It was also the most costly civil war in the service history. Here is a map of the battle. Very first battle, this is the Battle of the Twin Peaks. First, Nico attacks from his breakaway base. Then, uh, then I quickly flee, being overwhelmed. I then retreat back to my loyalist base to find it being, to find the stuff being stolen. Although I had actually griefed Nico's base over here. Then I kill Nico in, inside a corner in hand-to-hand -hand combat. No end crystals this time. Then Trey comes, probably at a work bad time when I was giving Nico back his stuff, because we had an agreement that we'd give each other stuff back once we died. So then. Then um, Trey gets killed by by Nico, who does an end crystal, and then I quickly flee. I am very very scared, and then I come back, and while I'm very very low, just as I'm about to die, I do an end crystal in the exact same block where Trey is, and I kill him. No, no, where Trey died, and I killed Nico, winning that battle. Here are some notable clips from it. First, I'm firing over at Nico's breakaway base. Then. This is Nico attacking me inside my own base. This is me griefing Nico's base. That's me also griefing Nico's base. And then this here is um, me killing Nico inside the corner. And over here is right before I did my crystal. Notice tr Trey's stuff lying on the ground. Now here's the second battle of the Twin Peaks map. First, I come and throw a TNT bomber, which you see over here. But this TNT bomber didn't drop anything because I failed to get on it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> then Nico begs for his items back from his base, which I had looted about here in that shulker box. I gave him his stuff back and he steals the shulker box. Classic Nico. Then me and Tess meet up to try and find Nico's secret base again, which was this base. We get into Nico's secret base and then Tess falls down the hole trying to get in. There is then an intense standoff between me and Nico, and Nico in the end has to combat log right as I'm doing my end crystal. And he only came back just to give Tess his items. Here are some notable areas from here. Here's when Tess stole my stole my shulker box. This is when Tess fell. This is just as Nico combat logged right after I'd end crystalled. And, uh, this is him being uh, cornered, and then this is him giving Tess his stuff back. Here is the Turbo Crystal map. This is the final battle of the Civil War. Me and Nico meet up to fight Nico. No, me and Trey meet up to fight Nico. Nico is quickly overwhelmed and retreats into the into the craters of the Industrial District, which are formed through many, many, many creeper explosions. This is perfect for end crystals, as you're able to hide beneath things very, very easily and quickly. Then Nico quickly flees over into the igloo. We pursue him, believing that he is low, and he was. And, but just before he died, we were put inside a spot that was very bad to be in, which was right over here in the igloo. Then Nico placed down his, his obsidian, but me and, me and Trey were too caught up thinking that he was going to die any moment. And as we knew it, Nico did his fabled turbo crystal, spamming crystals so much that in a moment our, our stuff was instantly incinerated. Here are some photos from that. From that. Here we can see the very start of the battle. This is inside the craters to the south of the industrial district and crystal standoffs. This is me shooting at Nico over here, right before the um, the igloo. And then over here is inside that igloo, just where Nico kills me and Trey in that one moment. You can already see my stuff's already gone. Just before my totem animation has finished going up. Now we had a peace treaty as well. In this peace treaty, it was said that there would be two presidents, me, and then one that was elected. There would be votes every month that you could run infinitely, 
and you could kick out a president who was doing a bad job and that there would be no vote of fraud. This was signed by me, Nico, and Trey, who was Stephen there. The aftermath. The aftermath of the Civil War was that, basically, we had one election. I mean, if that's what Nico worked for, then great. Nico didn't even run, though. Instead, Trey won the election, but it was a very, very fraudulent election, being there more votes than there were IWP citizens. Yeah. Well, Trey still won, and uh, he was put in as the second president. But it didn't last long, though, because very, very shortly late afterwards, Nico left the IWP. Basically, there was no one to enforce that that stuff was actually happening, and we quickly went back to our old ways. The IWP is still very prosperous, don't worry. We are still a very strong faction, but we are never the same as we were before that civil war. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Once again, if you want to watch the videos where this actually happened, I highly recommend you. Bye.